Hi there, this is Sandra with Sandra Jean Design. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through step by step how I set up my leather patches in Adobe Illustrator and then send them over to the laser to be engraved and cut. If you have any questions along the way, please post them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so we're going to take this design, copy it, and we are going to convert it into this. So I already have a blank document open. I'm going to hit Control V to paste that on there. And I'm scrolling using Alt and the scroll button on my mouse. So the first thing that we're going to do is our patch needs to be... I have two different patch sizes. One's going to be 2.75 and the other one is going to be two and a half. So we'll go ahead and size this one to two and a half. Oh, not like that. We need to get everything. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to zoom in, not out. So I want to make an outline, my patch outline. So I'm going to hit the swap button here and that automatically swaps your fill and stroke. And then for the epilogue, I like to have a stroke weight for vectorizing, a stroke weight of 0 0.025. That seems to work best for me. <clears throat> and I always do black. Don't ask me why, but that's just how it works for me. Okay, so then these little rivets here you can see have a I always forget the word, variegation, gradient, gradient. So I want to make these solid because sometimes, not always, but I just don't want it to mess with anything while it's engraving. So I'm going to change all of those to solid black and because of the, there's that little line in there, I'm just going to hit unite and that's going to make all of those one solid piece. Okay, and then this here, you want to go in and make sure each of these pieces are all joined together. You never know if there's a hidden stroke in there that's a vector stroke weight and you end up accidentally cutting your patch and your design. So we're going to go ahead and unite all of those. And it looks like everything else is good. So I'm going to select those, deselect the outside spot there, the outside of your patch, group all those together. And then what I like to do is make a, a fake stitch line. So I'm going to copy this patch design here. And all I did with that is I hit the Alt key and you see when you're hovering over the highlighted line there, it brings up a second arrow. That's your copy. I mean, you could always copy and paste with Control C and Control V, but I just, it's faster to just hold down the Alt key. Okay, so now you want to add in. Okay, so I generally run my stitch lines about an eighth of an inch off the, um, off the edge. So I'll do center everything and this needs to come down just a tiny bit. I'm going to bring this out. Things aren't always exact, but they're close. Okay, so now then the design here needs to get shrunk down. And that's pretty good. Okay, and then I always do send my customers a mock-up. So I will send them basically this for approval. I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page and they're happy with their design and there are no discrepancies when the product's delivered. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this up here in the corner because that's generally where I start with my engraving. And I'm going to make a copy of that. I have two, two different sizes of hats. I have a youth and a adult. Two youth hats and um, 
10 adult sizes. So I'm going to copy these and oops, hold down the alt key, drag it down. Now I'm going to resize these to 2.75 because that's the size that I need for my adult patches. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of these stitch lines because I don't want to engrave those in. And then Alt key, copy, and you're going to do this. So you get those four on there, and then you can highlight all of them. Now you have eight, and we need ten. So. There we go. So now, if you highlight everything and you come over here to the far upper right, you can see that the, this little box, wherever you put it, tells you where it is on your X and Y axis points. So what I like to do is click on the bottom right, so that takes you down here, and that'll tell you pretty much what size leather you need to have. Um, and I will generally add a quarter of an inch or so onto that number just for a little bit of extra extra space. So, um, so you're probably going to cut yours about six inches wide and eight, eight and a quarter, eight and a half inches tall. And then once that's all set up and you have your leather cut, um, the screen share button doesn't, or the screen sharing program doesn't allow me to show you my print settings, but each laser is different, so you'll need to follow your manufacturer's specifications for rastering and vectoring. So that's it for setting up my artwork, and now we're going to head over to the laser. Alrighty, I hope you can see what's going on here. The light's not super bright, but you'll get the idea. Alright, so once you've got your leather loaded in, Lined up. And next thing you're going to do is check your height and make sure that the bottom of your sensor here is touching your leather. Okay, and close the lid. Green light's going to light up. Once that's done, and hit play. Now this thing's pretty cold. It's been sitting for a couple of days. And I usually let it run for a second just to warm up, but I've already let it run for about 15-20 minutes while I was setting up the artwork. So um, <clears throat> now I'm going to turn the fan on, and the sound's going to go off because it's going to get really loud, and we're going to go. Well, the engraving part and all that settled. We'll wipe that off when we're done. So next thing we're going to do is cut. So I've got the computer all ready to go. I'm going to hit print. 
green lights on. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> anyway, so that's ready to go. that I use, I run this vector cut two to three times. I bring the tray up a couple clicks each time. All right, so this is what we have. Beautiful. So this, this set will come off, we'll clean that off with the rag. So I usually check that. If it doesn't pop up, then I'll run it again. So we're gonna run this again. And bring this up. We'll do it three clicks. And we'll go again. Alright, so most of these are good to go gonna have to manually go in and cut some out but you can see well my phone died because it ran out of space because it's time to get a new phone so anyway here's the patches here's what the back looks like some of these I'm like I said I'm gonna have to manually cut them out um, but you can see there they went through most of the way I'll have to cut them out with scissors or my uh, rotary tool well, here's the finished product. I think it looks pretty darn good. What do you think? If you want to see how I sew the patches on the hats, click this video right here. My artwork in Adobe Illustrator. Cat, you're not helping. You need to be quiet. Got my leather patches in Adobe Illustrator. Cat? See you on the next one. And until then, go out there and design the life you love. Have a great day.